The hook I am using today is the Daiichi 2220 in size 4. And the thread is Danville's 210 Flat Waxed in chartreuse. I also put a medium sized brass cone head on this fly. For durability, add a bit of head cement. Turn your fly over and add one plume of white marabou on the underside of the hook. Now, let's add two strands of crystal flash tied in the middle of the bunch. Then pull the forward strands rearward and tie those in as well. Snip the flash to about as long as the marabou tail. Now, measure out a magnum size rabbit zonker, in this case chartreuse. You want to measure it from the eye of the hook all the way so the end of the hide stops right where the marabou tail stops. Trim the tail end of the zonker strip to a point, like so. Now pull back the hair at the rear of the zonker to make a clean tie-in point. Tie in the zonker at that spot and pull back the whole zonker to give room to work on the shank. Grab a piece of small wire. If you have chartreuse, use it. Otherwise gold or silver will work. Then tie a piece of white chenille. Make touching wraps all the way up the hook shank with your chenille. And make a few extra wraps under the cone head. Then secure that down with a few tight wraps. And trim off the waist. I have this cape, which is a really pretty chartreuse grizzly rooster. I think it's really nice for this fly. However, you can use just white or white grizzly as well. Make sure and select a feather with a bit of webby fibers at the base. Strip off some of these base fibers, but leave a few of the webby ones. Then cut the stem short, but leave enough room for a tie-in point. Tie in your feather on top of your fly with the shiny part of the feather facing upward. Then proceed to palmer your feather down the hook shank, but make two wraps right near the cone head with the webby fibers. Now, grab your wire and wrap the opposite direction up the hook shank, wiggling your wire back and forth as you wrap. This wiggle will help keep from trapping as many hackle fibers. When you reach the cone head, secure the wire. Then just wiggle it a few times and it will break right off. Now pull the remaining rabbit zonker up tightly over your hackle. It might help to wet your fingers and draw the hackle downward. Now secure that zonker strip in very tightly with a little bit of extra sticking out. This ensures there's a fair amount of fiber tied in at the front of the fly. Trim off the waist and make a few wraps really locking that zonker in securely. Now, let's add a barred rubber leg to the side of the fly, tying it in so it becomes two strands angling rearward. Then tie another rubber leg in on the other side of your fly. Now, you can whip finish your fly. For durability, and to keep the cone head from spinning, I like adding a bit of Solarez Thin Hard UV Resin. Put a little bit under the cone head, then rotate your fly and put a bit more on the underside as well. Zap it with your UV light and will cure very quickly. And your fly is finished. This is an awesome fly for bass. It can be tied in other colors, but this one is in chartreuse, a popular color for smallmouth in my area. It moves really nicely in the water and has a bit of a jigging action. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. 
and leave your comments below in the comment section. And as always, all the materials used today are listed in the description section of the video for your convenience. I have also added links to where you can purchase these materials online at decent prices. Now, go give this fly a try and catch some fish.